Hey guys, this is a bit of Team Week, be back to another episode. Let's play Lost Odyssey, and uh, I just gotten back into my group. Um, I'll go over uh, basically what is the uh, setup is going to be for me in just a second here, but I kind of want to get out of here, um, at least out of this area. Um, I still have uh, some stuff that I've got to do here at the Crimson Forest. Well, <coughs> I guess I don't have to do them, but, um, I really recommend doing it, um, not only because, uh, we can find some pretty good stuff here, um, especially for the time that we're playing through, and, uh, also, we're gonna need some levels for Mac, so, because we're gonna be getting into a boss fight here, uh, pretty quick, so... Exists with the forest. They both respect and fear it. They revere and live so closely with the forest that they gain special powers from it. Isn't the Eastern tribe the people who started the war 500 years ago? But why me? You were possessed by the Crimson Forest, which still holds the remnants of the Eastern tribe's spirit. Because of that, the power of the Eastern tribe now resides within you, Mac. Ooh, seems like a mixed blessing to me. That's not true. I'm sure it'll come in handy. You should be thankful, Mac. Good for you, Mac. Wish I could get it. You don't suppose the Crimson Forest would possess me too, would it? Well, eventually we can uh, get some accessories that will uh, um, make it able so that Cook can use a uh, some spirit magic, but uh, uh, right now we, we don't really have to worry about it, so. Hmm. Okay. I didn't think that we could do anything with that, but we're gonna have to uh, go over and check anyway, so. I can't wait to take the mimic tears off him. Now, we could head out of here right away, but the first thing that we want to do is uh, we want to head back up towards uh, that one space there, so. Yeah, I thought uh, as soon as we headed up there, we got into uh, another dialogue scene, but I think we have to um, take off that um, glowing part right there of that uh, uh, pillar right in front, so. Okay, so I just didn't have the right direction. I thought we had to head right up back onto it, but... Yeah, now we can do things with these, so... Okay. 
Okay. Yes, I'll go in and explain a little bit here with the Mac. So, first thing is that if you want to, you can go into that formation and uh, you can put Mac into the back. Um, he is a little bit stronger fighter than um, Cook or Jansen is right now. Um, I think this time I will leave him in front uh, just a little while longer to <coughs> actually uh, put the P gauge up a little bit higher. So, But if you want to put him into the back, you can. Um, I plan to mainly be using him for physical attacks. Um, and if you put him in the back row, then of course, he's gonna be one of your medic casters, but. Show the spell book first. Right now, um, his only spells are gonna be shut or spirit magic, so. Shadow, you're gonna use a lot. Um, it will attack uh, basically every single enemy, but um, of course it's not very powerful, so. Um, when we fight bosses, you can put a power or mind on your guy, so. Chime, um, eh, really not gonna use it that much, so. Okay, his weapons are the discus ones. Um, you would think that these things would have about as much attack from back row as it does from the front row, but it doesn't for some reason, even though it's a distance weapon. So. Put on the only one I got, just for right now, so. Basically, you can put any of these things on that you want. Um, you could go with a, you know, a spell that would, uh, or accessory that would uh, make it so that he could, uh, you know, cast like white and black magic too. But yeah, I think that's a little overkill. Um, you might want to go with uh, the one for level one. Um, one was it? So. Okay. Yeah, you might want to go with the Nova Serings. Um, if you plan to use them in the back row, because that, uh, you know, spirit magic really isn't that powerful or anything, but. I think this should be good, so. And now finally that we have somebody else that we can uh, learn something from. Go into your skills. And start learning stuff with Mac, so. combo first. I'm just check my skills to make sure that I'm not doubling up on anything.
Yeah, it's like that'll be better for him. I should put on anti poison with him too. I'll put a uh, anti paralysis on that uh, when I get a chance to. Um, yeah, I think so. I think I'll do it that way, then uh, take whatever I have off, so. Now, as I said, uh, we could head just south of here if we really want to uh, get out of here right away, but we got some stuff with it I want to do first, so. And so you know, some of the columns will uh, show back up, some of them won't. Um, I think it's uh, just kind of a random thing which ones uh, actually reappear and which ones don't, so. I kind of wish that uh, some of these things, like the wall, were, were basically just free, but uh, they cost magic points, so.
Yeah, he levels up really fast here. Got some more stuff that I gotta pick up here, so. A fly we kill it on, um, and three shin beetles. Time learned his thing, so. Go far ahead. 